All right, I think. Hi, guys. Welcome to Alive. My name is Jiga Jr. and this is my search for the best way to live. And my guests today are two, are the founders of two of the hottest Facebook communities in Cebu. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the founder of Cebu Barter Community, Mr. Bong Abelia. Hi, good afternoon, Jiggy. And good afternoon, boss. Okay. Also, one of the hottest Bong. Facebook communities here in Cebu, we have uh, Mr. Lut Anthony Luterio, otherwise known as Boss. Yes. <laughs> yeah, hi, Boss. Hi to all alive. Hi, Boss uh, Bong. Okay, my longtime friend. Both of you are my longtime friend. Yeah, I know, right? So first and foremost, I'm sure a lot of people would be intrigued to know what is the rationale behind both your communities? Why did you form Cebu Barter Community and Delivery Na? First, let's start with Bong Abelia, the founder of Cebu Barter Community. Explain to everybody, what's the rationale behind your community, Bong? Go ahead, sir. All right. Um, so basically, Cebu Barter Community was formed um, we are actually looking on how to arrest or how to dismantle the fear, the anxiety, or the hopelessness that we are facing right now in a, in a creative platform wherein we are activating the heart to share, the heart to connect, and, and how to build a community. Um, thus, we were able to form the Cebu Barter community using actually this element of exchange of goods or services without the without buying, without selling, or without using any form of money. So basically, wow. that's the concept. So it's like going back uh, to the uh, to the uh, you know to the uh, hundreds oh, of years wait. ago when we used yes. to buy things, right? <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> How about you, uh, Boss Anthony? Uh, what is the rationale behind delivering a wide <laughs> form? This Facebook community, Delivery Na. Yeah, Delivery Na is actually by accident. Um, it's actually it's a website uh, I purchased last year, and I, I did the cabinet because you know, somebody wants me to create the biggest delivery uh, company in the Philippines. But uh, you know, um, na buta ng um, pandemic, pandemic, so it was really <laughs> hold on. Okay, yeah, so. But it was a plan to really create a portal for uh, the delivery. But um, since I, I purchased that one, I just parked it. And um, it was by accident why we activated that uh, because of my wife. Okay? So my wife was so um, was calling me in Jaton, can you help some of the food sellers in Cebu? Because, you know, there's a group that uh, they have to pay like that, something like that. And I don't know. Uh, what happened but uh, she really wants to help because we're doing uh, delivering foods uh, every uh, every day okay so you go, why not create a platform use my network and help so many food vendors because um, honestly speaking i also saw some of my agents selling red because you know you cannot sell so many houses because of the limited opportunity why not one so i just tried to activate the brand and um, I never expected that a lot of people today are making money already <laughs> with wow. delivery now. So at least in a little way, we can help uh, as much as we can. It's because it's not just about real estate, it's about social responsibility also. For so our obviously both your communities, uh, Delivery Na and Cebu Barter Community, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but these were formed because of uh, the pandemic, right? Yes, yeah, definitely, yes. Correct. Thing that. correct. So, the main catalyst of uh, Cebu Barter community and delivery now is, is the pandemic. You know, th this pandemic, this is something that we have never seen before. I'm sure you guys both can agree that nobody is an expert on this. This is something that, you know, <laughs> yeah. nobody in the world has seen. Maybe they've seen, you know, SARS, maybe they've seen, uh, you know, pandemics, but not of this magnitude. The last pandemic that uh, our species of, um, experience was back in 1918, wherein 30 million people died, right? 
the influenza pandemic, if I'm not mistaken. That was 1918. So that was a long time ago. So um, how do you think um, mm -hmm. uh, the business community, this is obviously a reaction to, to, to this pandemic. How do you think this uh, community can help uh, Cebu City deal with this pandemic? Uh, starting with you, Bong. Go ahead. Um, amazingly, um, I think just today we have turned more than 100,000 members. Yeah, congratulations. So in a way, way. yeah. So in a way, I, I, it's more on the engagement and the reach um, is going that far. So how, a way, uh, how in a way we are helping, number one, um, we are actually helping look into the essentials and even beyond the essentials, the, the essentials you know, that, uh, uh, from, from the basic food. Um, a while ago, actually, while I was going down into, to meet someone um, and to receive the exchange, they were telling us, I think we can already set up a fruit stand because of the, the so many fruits that we're getting. But they are really very happy in that sense. And I think um, what, what is so good with this dynamics, we're also helping to share. In fact, um, from, from the basic exchange of goods, it has expanded to helping other uh, charity groups. Um, kids with cancer, those who are actually in need. So it's that the, the, um, the gratefulness and the, um, what's this, the, the, the essence of sharing is just so amazing. So I you know, think on that aspect. You know, one, of, one of the things that this pandemic has taught us is it has taught us to, to mind what is important in life, right? To, to realize what's important, we just need the basics. And when you look at your, your room, when you look at your house, there's so many things that we don't need. In fact, uh, to be honest with you, Bong, um, I have actually gotten rid probably one-fourth of the crap in my house because of Cebu Barter Community. But there's so much <laughs> stuff that I have that I'm sure somebody can use. That's why, I, I'm. in fact, after this uh, um, conversation, I'm going to go check my... Cebu Barter account as well and see if somebody's interested <laughs> to, to trade for my, for my items. Um, delivery now, how do you think uh, this can help alleviate uh, the uh, economic plight that Cebu City businessmen or just everybody in Cebu City in general is experiencing uh, Boss Anthony? And is this something that you would like to just uh, make exclusive here in Cebu or is this something that you would like to grow and make it national or even global? Yeah, actually, uh, Boss Jigger, we, we, just, we, are, we just turned 10 days old today, okay? So this is our anniversary, okay? And um, I don't know, Bong, how many days are your, is your group now? I think I'm just three days ahead of delivery now, or three, three, yeah, three days. We're now 13 Delivery days. Yeah. 13 days. 13 days. 13 days, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So 13 days old. Congratulations. And 10 days old. Okay. So this will be historical uh, conversation because we never know. Actually, in any bench or any form of uh, um, innovation that you create or any form of... Uh, was this um, idea? You will never know, okay? And what will happen, what transpire, okay? The most important is the basic thing. Why did you create it? So we have purpose. So the most, so like me, I uh, I'm the one of the organizer for Bounce Back Philippines together with RJ Desma. I'm the head admin for Bounce Back Cebu, um, Cagayan, and also helping Manila. So Bounce Back is an organization to really help. Uh, micro economies, micro businesses. Okay, so one of the trusts uh, why we launched this one because we want um, people who are um, doing selling, um, creating, I mean, uh, food, okay, um, cooking foods, at least um, they can also make money. Okay, so we don't know. And actually, honestly speaking, I never expected that uh, there will be uh, so many people making now two, 3,000 a day, but uh, it is really a good purpose. And that's the reason last uh, four days ago, we launched this. 
Oh, say, okay. When we launch this online, we have about 700 people. Uh, can you still hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. How about yeah. you? Can you, hear me? So, can you hear me properly, boss? Yes. Go ahead. So, Continue. Actually, 700 people attended uh, during the launch. Actually, it's just a group launch. And I talked to them. You know, the whole yeah, we have to help the economy and uh, micro businesses, we have to move on. And it will start in the household. And people who have to, we have to help these people. If they uh, learn how to cook, cook cake, uh, they want to know how to cook, uh, what's this, dessert or anything, why not? So as long this, as it can uh, help everybody. To, is this something that you plan to just have in Cebu or is this something that you'd like to grow nationwide? Yeah, we are already nationwide. We have 27 cities already. Okay. Uh, Davao, uh, Iligan is really very good today. Um, Iligan, we have about uh, 250 food sellers. Davao, we have about 500 food sellers. So today, and everybody, in fact, all their customers are running food sellers also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Some customers uh, uh, are also, yeah. Okay, so um, knowing what we know now in, into this uh, pandemic, we're already approaching the third month of, the, of this lockdown. Um, what, what did you both see in the future uh, of, of the new normal that uh, you felt like doing this? What do you think uh, will happen once things start opening up here in Cebu? Um, what do you guys see? Because like I said, nobody is an expert on this. So um, obviously, this is a reaction to, to, uh, to the pandemic, Cebu Barter Community and Delivery Now. So what do you guys see? I know people are using the catchphrase, low touch economy, um, new normal. You know, so what, what do you guys see and how do you think uh, um, uh, moving forward, your community will, will, uh, will grow? Uh, Bong, maybe you can answer that first. Um, you know, just like uh, just like uh, Ton here, no, he's saying that we're actually, uh, shall I say, uh, learn um, on a per day ba basis. We cannot really um, foresee, or we cannot actually come up with something very concrete on what's going to happen happen in the future. So, parang we continue to evolve and we continue to learn. But amazingly. Like um, a while ago, I think um, this morning, someone actually approached me and gave me a call. Now, with the community that we have, um, can we assist or help? Like, for example, on the concept, which I don't even know, I don't even have an answer now, but on the aspect of the um, distant learning, how can the community help, considering that... Um, I believe in the future is going to be online coaching, teaching already. Um, we can actually explore um, possibilities. We can actually explore um, uh, understanding. No? So we're taking it parang one day at a time. But um, what is parang within our control right now is to ensure that there is positivity in the community because along the way, um, Great ideas can actually come if people in the community are just really open on possibilities and capabilities that may happen. Wow. So um, if you don't mind me asking uh, you, Bong, um, especially you, because this is a community and this is, uh, um, it looks like um, it's a nonprofit. Um, but um, what, what's your, I don't know, what's your uh, end game? How do you, um, because, you know, whatever it is that you do, even if, it, if it's a non-profit, you still need to make money, right? Because there's going to be expenses that will be incurred along the way. Um, so um, what is your business model, Bong? How, how does Cebu Barter community eventually uh, uh, sustain itself? Well, right now, um, if you look at it, it's really voluntarism, no? Yeah, of course, so yeah. even even um, we now have uh, parang accepting additional moderators, uh, to be part of the admin on the concept again of volunteerism in terms of sustaining it on the um, parang how it can run it itself on the needs 
we don't know if it may birth into something parang another aspect. We're just actually exploring all possibilities. But uh, right now, we're actually just enjoying the process. So, Jiggy, I cannot really answer for now on how are we going to do it. So, um, but uh, I, I, we're just really operating on the concept now na if anything that is no longer is sparking you joy, share it because it may spark joy to another person. I think on that concept. So, um, hopefully, two days from now, new concept, new ideas may come in and I can come up with something very concrete. <laughs> Yeah. How, how about you, Don? What's your end yeah. game, Don? What's your vision for delivery now? How do you think delivery now will look like at the end of the year, next year? Um, yeah. What's your business? Actually, number two. How, do you, how do you intend to become uh, a uh, uh, sustainable uh, community? No, actually, this is what happened. After five days, I was observing, um, checking on the driver's side, checking on the food side. And you know what happened? It is so interesting because I saw so many problems. Number one, so many drivers are taking advantage of delivering. So what happened? We launched the, the community, food community group. So we launched um, Halisai, we launched um, Mandawe, we, we launched Makta. Why are you hiring drivers from Mandawe to deliver a product in Lapu-Lapu? So we saw that already. And in the future, I'll be gathering all the drivers to really create um, what's this um, taripa. Now, don't charge too much with the food because it is better to earn a small percentage with a volume of delivery. Because now they're taking advantage. In fact, so many um, blue-collar uh, people now are doing driving. I, I'll give you an example. One of the manager of a bank, uh, because he don't work anymore, so he's doing delivery. He's making about 1,500 pesos a day. But the question is, they're taking advantage. I want to cut that one. So in order to give the best value of the product, because the product now, if you deliver 800 pesos, you have to buy, you have to pay 180, 200 pesos. I, I, I doesn't say, I cannot say uh, value there because it is becoming more expensive to the buyer. So we are creating a community. So last uh, four days ago, we created a food gathering community. So we talked to them. We uh, asked them, what's the problem? Why is it that... Uh, you're complaining. So now we saw some little problems because we eat this, we, we bite this one at a time. And as what Bong been telling you, na, we never know what will happen. And the same with Deliver Na. So all we have to do is just focus on why are you putting up this one? So why I'm putting up this one is to connect small businesses, micro businesses, and to, to spike, spark the economy, to make it alive. Spark the econ economy. You yes. know, you guys are obviously <laughs> using the platform Facebook, of Facebook, right? And within Facebook, there are certain rules. How easy or how difficult is it to navigate Facebook? Uh, maybe you can answer that question first, Bong. Go ahead. Okay, number one, uh, that's very true. You, number one, you really have to be aware on the guidelines being set by Facebook. And, and everything, or, or, or it should be congruent to the things that actually we're doing. So number one, like I think very clear on Facebook na, na um, because at first uh, we were actually uh, uh, facing uh, members of the community um, who would want to, let's say number one, the PPE for, or the COVID-19, no? COVID, anything that is COVID-19 related. And it's very clear in the regulation of Facebook. Otherwise, um, that could be a keyword alert to them, no? If they see uh, members of the community uh, exchanging these things, so we have to see to it that the, the, the customized guidelines that we are making is totally aligned with the Facebook um, regulation. Otherwise, the quality of our community will be affected. So we're very, very careful on that. Um, second, um, yeah. um, so so way of saying, we have to study. We have to learn. Okay. Uh, and to connect. So, so para um, all of us will be happy along the way. So aren't yeah. you scared, Vong, that uh, <laughs> you're just uh, uh, a uh, tenant, if you will, of Facebook? Do you have plans to like delivery now? 
uh, open a website of your own and and uh, sort of migrate the, uh, the community on on a website instead of just uh, a social media platform like Facebook is that part of uh, the goal? That's actually what we're actually talking now as a team. No, so I actually would like to give honor also on the other nine members of the team who are actually uh, uh, religiously uh, and and parang are very hardworking. That's part of our somewhat like things that we are discussing. Second, we're actually looking into, because some members of the community are actually parang sending us messages na, after the pandemic, can we meet as a group? Sabi ko, how, how can we fit in one, in one big room? We're talking 100,000 members. But they, because they seem to really be excited of the community you know, because they've gained so many friends, they've yeah. gained so many networks. So they are saying, so these are the things that we're actually looking um, to sustain and then to, to keep the fire burning and going. Correct. How about you, sir, uh, uh, Anthony Lutario, delivery? <laughs> how exciting, how difficult is it to deal with Facebook? And have you already also migrated and activated your website of delivery now, or, or you're still uh, just on Facebook? Yeah. Okay. First of all, we never invented this. Okay. So, in fact, there's a lot of food network already going on uh, in uh, Facebook group. Okay, I'm the last one who created it last week. Okay, so our goal is just to spark up. Our goal is to really focus on helping uh, people who have their culinary experience and culinary passion to really put it in the market so they can the economy will move. That's the goal. Okay, number two, to gather all the drivers so we can help each other and lessen the delivery charges. Mm -hmm. so, so that is my goal now, and put some guidelines that will work together and make it better experience in delivery now. Okay? Because, you, you know, there's so many... Huh? Again? Do you, apply, do, you, do you apply to become a uh, driver of delivery now? Or is there like a screening process, like the way Lala Move would do it or Grab would do it? Um, is is your business model similar to to that or no? Okay, today, um, honestly speaking, we have nine active cities, very active. Okay, thousands of uh, postings there in these nine cities, and it's so funny because first they will call me or first they will PM the the moderator, Mom, how much is the charge? Imagine. Mm -hmm. We gather about uh, 500 a day wants to deliver things because mm -hmm. of the word deliver na. And I am not, we are not focused on that yet. We are focused on helping connecting food network. Okay? okay. So we never know. Okay. We never know uh, what will happen. <laughs> Maybe in the future we might partner with uh, the group of Bong. We yeah, never why not? With that. <laughs> because as long as we can help, as long as we can move the country, Correct. It is really the most important thing. And that's the purpose of why barter delivered na. Because it, barter is, is more on about um, a community of happiness. Okay? Delivered na is a community of making extra income. So imagine Hyde is connecting to the people how alive we are today. Yes. And if we marry that, right? I mean, yeah, we marry <laughs> the things, diba? We never know. Okay, the most important, all of us are friends and we can gather so many ideas in the future. It's just about anything that sparks the mind and you implement it and it is working. You just go by the flow. That's the most important. You know, one of the things I that I, I said earlier was the word sustainability, right? Is this something mm -hmm. that you can sustain? And of course, uh, in, in the era of lockdown, we have been locked down in our homes for uh, more than three months now. People are, are bored out of their minds. And, uh, uh, you know, they have no choice but, you know, to watch television, watch cable, or maybe go online, right? So they're bored out of um, their minds. And, you know, it just so happened you guys are around, Cebu Barter Community and Delivery Na. Um, how... Uh, um, how do you not become a flash in the pan? How do you not become uh, just a fan? Um, how, after all of this, 
you know, after we start opening up, um, when people are, you know, busier, hopefully out of their homes, you know, and then they're probably uh, uh, working already in the new normal. Um, how do you still make yourselves relevant when they're not as pre they're not as focused on on social media as they once were during this lockdown? Go ahead, starting with you, Bob. How do you answer that question? Well, um, as I have, I, I actually share the same sentiment with um, Sir Anthony Derno. Na we cannot actually forecast wh what is yeah. what is going to happen. Yeah. Um, so what we're actually focusing on now, Jiggy, is how to make things excellent. Mm -hmm. Like how, how we filter those who would yeah. want to join. Mm -hmm. We see to it that some, along the way, no, we, as we evolve, guidelines uh, is being modified, is being um, changed to connect to the people. Um, how do we do things? Um, yesterday, actually, we started with coming up with um, our first uh, Facebook Live to connect to the people by coming up with creative ways to engage into them. So I think on top of, on, on top of everything, um, we don't know how to really, just like I guess in any relationship, it has to be um, spiced with uh, good communication, commitment, um, and I think that is what we're doing right now. These are the spices that is, and hopefully it can bring us into, into a further, better relationship as we go along on how we do things right now. So I think that's, 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 uh, that's um, I'm, I'm actually embracing on that to do things excellently um, day by day, and hopefully it can, it can bring forth uh, or give birth to something better. On, on what we right. started. Hey, Anthony, how do you answer that question? You just said, uh, Morag, you have, there's not uh, just you, there's many of you in this uh, space. So how do you stand out and how do you sustain yourselves? How do you not become just a fad? Anthony, you want to answer okay. that? Okay. I'll give you a very good example. Lake Barter na Cebu. There's so many barters before. They never invited Barter na, but why is it that they're number one? Because of the people behind it, I compliment the team of Bong, Ilani Ruben. They are just so good in doing things. That's the reason whatever business you give to a poor man, to a foolish man, if they don't work for it, then they cannot have it. That's the concept. So now I have this brand that is very catchy. And there's so many brands out there. And if I just make this the same with Filipino homes, because Filipino homes has been very successful in the real estate uh, field. But honestly speaking, it is about compliment. I'll tell you a story. Go ahead, go ahead. Example, Bong collected a lot of, uh, Bong collected a lot of vegetables. Now, if these vegetables cannot be bartered, we have to deliver it. We have deliver now, help Sparter to sell it because it might be, yeah, Alex, that's the real that's story. True. I know already where it's coming, okay? That's the reason it is just about complementing that makes a business success, uh, successful. I'll give you, last two days ago, I've been meeting with Gaisano. I talked, uh, we have a webinar with Gaisano. Gaisano really loved the Liberna. Jack Gaisano, Metro Gaisano, and also Grandland. They are so happy with this because... Imagine if I spark cooking, I spark grocery, then they will go to the groceries. People love to do groceries, right? So Justin Oi, last night uh, we talked, they, these people, this grocery, I mean, these smalls, they're so happy. So number two, we have already condominiums. Imagine Jiggy, I have all the condominiums. I will call all the foods, food uh, creators, I'll deliver it to the condo. I'll just connect it to them so I can help so many people. Mm -hmm. So that's the concept. So oh, wow. once this condo, they have all these uh, things that can be bartered, then I will call barter <laughs> group to barter it. So if you look yeah. at the, the whole concept of barter, na, I barter uh, was this um, barter group of Cebu and deliver, na, it is about complementation, complementing the business model in order to really help the community. That's yes. the goal. Wow. Because you know, your you know, goal is more about... Uh, okay. 
you know, social media platforms okay. like Facebook. Social media platforms like Facebook is not, uh, it, it's just a reflection of society, right? You know, there's really uh, nothing new that's happening. Uh, it's just happening in a different platform uh, on social media. So there are good things about society. There's bad things about society. And there's good things about uh, being in social media in a community. There's bad things about being in a community like the uh, Cebu Barter uh, uh, community and, and delivery not, uh, community. Uh, what are the, uh, what are you guys scared of? I mean, like, a, you must be scared of, of uh, you know, maybe perhaps a, a criminal elements or, or whatever, uh, fraud. Um, how do you secure your community members? Uh, maybe you can answer that question, Bong. Okay. Uh, number one, um, we started with uh, firming the guidelines. Okay. Mm -hmm. We started with that educating them. Even some are actually telling us na, oh, how can actually it, it, it parang, even on the safety aspect, no? um, we see to it that there's proper an announcement, timely announcement to still connect and remind people. Uh, we see to it that um, we're evolving based on the need, based on the requirement. Because captured mo na eh. we you already have these members um who got uh I say got in love got connected with you so it could be an opportunity it could be already parang um a platform that you can maximize well for one we have one thing that i have actually learned in this pandemic nothing is actually permanent okay so you have to con like what can you maximize what can you um shall i say uh yun, how what can you maximize on the aspect of educating on the aspect of communicating you better do it now so i i I'm, we're operating on that on that perspective how about you sir anthony how do you make thing make sure that things are secure uh, in uh, your community yeah same uh you have to create uh, education uh, webinars and we have to use this uh, type of uh, way of communication uh, webinars is the best way and people are already accustomed to do face-to-face -face in the computer so we will continue with this because this is the new normal of communication and we will continue to educate in fact next week we'll be launching our uh, critics group so the critics group is they will give advice to all the food sellers. Okay, wow. so we're, we're launching so many things that will really help the Deliver the platform. But believe me, our goal is just to first help. And yes. people always ask me, Chaton, what is the secret ingredients to make things right? You know, to make things right is the people behind it. If the people behind is really good people before, good people, uh, in their background, in their society. When they create things, it can be very successful. The same with the barter trade. You look at the people in barter, Cebu. These are the people who have good name in Cebu, and that's the reason there's a lot of followers there. It's just the same like that. Just so, like um, you, Jiggy. Why are you <laughs> going to Y101? Yeah. It's like that. You, you know what? Um, uh, some, sometimes uh, you don't create the market. The market creates you. Um, Bong, did you envision Cebu Barter community the way it is now? Or this has become a totally and a completely different monster than what you envisioned <laughs> in the beginning? Well, actually, we were just aiming for 5,000 members when we started. <laughs> all right? But um, we were yeah. so... We were so hands-on. Yeah. Um, we were actually, like, ako personally, when we were at the onset, we were even also, um, shall I say, leading, no? Uh, parang, uh, we were actually showing the people, uh, or the first barter, I remember, kami ay talaga ang nag-execute so people can, can see how's the process. And then... So what was um, the first barter? What was the, what was the barter? What was the, tra the transaction, if you will? I I was actually I was actually bartering this uh, Marvel uh, collector's item. 
okay. to a sandwich spread because that is what sandwich I need okay. at that time. Okay. I was looking for a sandwich spread. <laughs> and I have to show the process on the on the page and on, yeah, on the Facebook actual, page. Actual. Yes, actual. So yeah, they have yeah. to see that. And then second, I think we went beyond from the concept of focusing on transaction alone because we we also um um, articulated that beyond the transaction, we also value relationship. So we see to it that um, we speak life, we speak blessings, we speak good words instead of commenting na, ah, bati ang imong uh, yeah. goods or in exchange. So I think that started and then until now, the members got actually so excited because they find it authentic, they find it, we were not actually claiming na we're the original or we're the first where we're telling everyone yeah, yes. we're just modifying yeah. everything to, to really suit your need. Oh, so we were building, we were building <laughs> relationship. And after that, words from words to words to words. And now we're so amazing. We're not actually so concerned of the 100,000, but actually we're so concerned on the quality that is being um, um, yeah. developed into the system. Well, you never answered this question. Yeah. What's, what's your vision? Um, do you want this to be a national community? Do you want this to be a global community? Um, obviously, Cebu Barter community is a Cebu community because it's got the word Cebu. But do you visualize yeah. this becoming national or even global? Actually, Jiggy, um, Metro Manila Barter community connected with us and asked if they can start something similar. Okay. And then, we, and then I think now they're also doing good. Um, Sambuanga also sent us a message if they can do ah. it. All right. And then New York, I also have a, as a schoolmate at UP before and asking, can we start this in New York? Go, go ahead, go on. Um, we will even guiding them on, or, or you, you would like to check on the guidelines, things like that. So it's basically spreading this concept so more people can appreciate and enjoy the dynamics. Um, uh, Sir, uh, Sir Anthony, um, you obviously um, have had this idea for a long time. Uh, since last year, yeah. right? you were just sparking the website name Delivery Na. Um, what, what, is your, what is your vision for this? What, I know that Filipino homes has become a, a, a real estate behemoth. Um, do you see Delivery Na becoming a, uh, a behemoth of uh, delivering food just like the way you grew Filipino homes? Is that uh, your vision? No. Actually, um, I don't have a vision of making everything big. It is, as what you've been talking to me, it is the market that creates the demand, right? I will not create the demand. Okay? So if the people, the, the food creators, the delivery man loves delivery now, then we can improve it and yeah. we can help each other. And that's the concept of uh, Cebu Barter also. So the goal here is to really create a society of food community so everybody can start our life starting next week. That is first, the first goal. And I don't want to be very big because there's so many food community. There are 50,000, 80,000. I just want it uh, a controlled one. So like Dabao. Dabao now have about almost 3,000. I told them, that's okay. We're happy already. Our agents are making money. And some of our friends, relatives, like now, here in my community in Barangay, Sambag Ono and those, people are making money now using wow. Deliver Na. And I'm so happy. And I told them, oh, you have to also go to Cebu Barter Trade. You barter all your things there. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're actually a member there. Okay? All of my, all of, almost all of my agents now in uh, Cebu Barter, they're uh, actively uh, doing it. And it is a complementary. Yes. It is a complementary. And that's the most important. And I'm very happy for my team, Filipino Homes. They're the one who's uh, moderating it, campaigning it. And um, every um, concept like this is more about management. I always believe it's managing whatever God gave you. Because like uh, the, the Cebu Barter, God gave them that. So they have to take care of that. Okay? That's the most important. You know, whatever, totally whatever video that Anthony Luterio appears in, it, yeah, it always goes viral. So I guess that helps that you are there at the helm of <laughs> delivery now, right? <laughs> um, 
Jake, can I just say something? Go ahead. Jake, I, I totally, I totally agree with Sir Anthony. No, uh, we to, we don't take ownership. We are yeah. actually just would like to maximize to be an effective managers on this platform. Correct. In fact, Correct. Um, I am actually embracing on the concept that we're actually here to construct construction over destruction. So I think that's yeah. the essence of the Cebu Barter community. Um, Bong, there, there's something so primal, so organic about barter. You know, like uh, that's <laughs> the way they transacted before they invented currency, right? Before they invented yes. money, yes. you know, you would pay uh, somebody, you know, bugas and, uh, you know, like chicken for in exchange for something, right? There's something so nostalgic about it. There's something, I think you guys hit a nerve, right? In, in this whole yeah. Cebu barter concept. Um, uh, there have been several other similar communities that were formed. Why do you think the Cebu barter community caught fire instead of, of, of the, the other communities that are similar? Oh, uh, as I, I think, um, as I mentioned a while ago, um, aside from being too focused on the transaction, we see to it also that there's a relationship that is being built. So we see to it yeah. that the element of fun, the element of joy, the element of being a Cebuano, the element of even yeah. jokes is there without without crossing the line. So I think that that not not too very legalistic on on you know now yeah. oh di na pwede di na pwede ingat things like that. But you know sometimes we just approach the 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 person na can you modify what you just have uh, posted. So we do that on, on, on the process. So I think that's the, that that that's the element. Nanong unique siya, no, in the process. Um, yeah. There are new rules every single uh, cycle, right? Um, Bong, um, what are the new guidelines now that you can probably perhaps announce since we're going to be posting this video today? Um, what what are the new guidelines uh, that uh, members of the Cebu Barter community should know that uh, they need to be uh, uh, you know updated with? All right. Um, before, before naglisod me, or we were actually having a hard time categorizing the the goods being exchanged. So right now we're mm -hmm. actually very uh, not naman so strict, but we would like everyone to follow the five uh, parang posting guidelines. Okay. To include putting the proper hashtag per category. Okay. So para eventually, if there is someone who would want to search. They can easily find okay. the item or the good. Because before, they won't follow. They they won't. They're not even educated on, let's say, the hashtag uh, CBC uh, toys. Mm. So this time now, because we are actually implementing before they post to put the specific hashtag, we are now actually seeing um kanang ni follow na no. So quality, it's actually quality. for the benefit. Yeah, it's actually for the benefit of of everyone. So how about wow. you, Don? How does one uh, uh, become a member of Delivery? <laughs> they're watching this video right now, and they're yeah. uh, you know they're just at home. They they can you know they can bake the best uh, I don't know whatever, and then they like to sell yeah. it, or it, they have a motorcycle, they have an extra car, and it's not doing anything. Um, how does one become uh, a member or a part of the Delivery na community? Go ahead, Don. Yeah, so for everybody who is watching out there, all you have to do is, uh, if you're from Mandawe, go to deliver na Mandawe, Lapu-Lapu. So at least it will be faster to deliver the community. Okay, so deliver na Cebu is the fastest uh, all over the Philippines. We have now 9,000 members in um, 10 days. No, what is this? 29? This is 29? 28. 29? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 27. Oh, yeah. yeah, so May 27. So this is our 10th day. We are now 9,000 in Cebu. So you can go to Deliver Na Cebu and we will approve. And what we've been changing is we are creating now the price tag and the delivery tag. This is wow. the first one in the Philippines. So price tag is there's a tag because just like tag, your details, everything. So we'll be creating um, a very good social media experience wow. that's the most important and that's the reason why it's called social media and then we just want to create the experience that's what happened deliver na is the experience 
Cebu Barter is the experience. And that is now why we are so happy because everybody is now um, laughing and enjoying with our creation. But you we didn't what? invent it. Talking to you guys, uh, you guys exude so much positivity, so much good vibrations. And uh, it is hard to feel good about what's going on with the world today. If you watch news on television, things are really difficult. Although some parts of the world are already opening up, like the United States. You know, it's still, uh, you know, baby steps. You know, it, it's possible that things could get worse in a second wave or third wave. We don't really know what's going to happen. We've never been here before. This is, you know, this is not the edge, as somebody once said, this is not the edge of the old place. This is a totally different place. This is not the edge of the old place. This is a totally different place. Um, you guys are, are exuding positivity. You guys are exuding uh, good vibrations. What do you tell? What, what do you have to say uh, to those people out there, uh, Bong and uh, Boss Anthony, to those who are, who are who would like to get a piece of, of your good vibrations? How, how do you still see the, the positivity in, in all of this negativity? Uh, go ahead. Uh, so you can start, uh, Bong. Go ahead. All right. Um, well, for one, I really believe that um, we, we have the capacity to arrest no? negativity. Okay, and replace it with something good, with something beautiful. And I think it's, it's also happening in the Cebu Barter community. We're there to actually help arrest hopelessness. Um, we, we're there to, to help dismantle na, um, there is no more parang something good that may happen. So it's a mindset. So we, we would like to, to help create to change that negative mindset into something positive. So, How about you, yeah. Anthony? Uh, you're always exuding yeah. positivity. You're always looking at the bright <laughs> side, no matter how dark things seem to be. <laughs> what is your message to those? How do we get a piece of what you have? Give us, give us some of that, whatever it is. Yeah. You know, in every day, when you wake up, the most important is just Listen to this word. One word. H O P E. What's okay. that? That's oh. hope. Okay. If you know the meaning of hope, then we can touch the world. Helping other people every day. Okay. Wow. And if we just have that, if everybody is having hope, Cebu Barter have hope, helping other people every day. Deliver na have hope. Helping other people every day. And that's the reason why we are here. We're not here to make money. Money is the end result. But we are here first with a mission. The mission to touch the society and a little touch of society with their problems. I know there's a lot of people from Cebu Barter. They have so many big problems. They don't have food. But they have these things. And now they exchange for food. That's touching people's lives. And by that, we are pushed by our heart to help more. And that's hope. Well, hope. Thank you so much, guys. I, I, you know, I have all the good vibes that I that can you know, take me to another to tomorrow, feeling good about, <laughs> about what's going on with the world today. Thank you so much, guys. You, you guys are you. with with good vibrations. Why don't you invite them to join your community, uh, both the delivery na and Cebu Barter community? Started with you, but why don't you invite them? I know you already have a lot, but I'm sure you can use some more. <laughs> Okay, to all Cebuanos out there, if you would want to activate the heart to share, the heart to um, exchange positively something that may not be sparking joy anymore, join the Cebu Barter community. You are very much welcome. How about you, the boss Anthony? Go ahead, sir. <laughs> yeah, so to everybody who's watching out there, thank you very much for listening to us here at Alive. All you have to do is we just keep on helping and in my little um, work and ideas, uh, Deliberna is here to help move the community one step at a time. Wow. Deliberna, all over the Philippines. Wow, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Bong Abelia, the founder of Cebu Barter Community. I know you have a team. Maybe you want to mention your team as well. Bong, maybe you can the nine names. Go ahead. 
Yes, I would like to honor, okay? And then uh, say thank you to my team, starting with Ben and Irene, okay? We have Claire and Renz, Mel and Je Jeff, and then of course, Carlo Britt, Paris, and Daryl. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And how about, of course, uh, Filipino homes, um, man doing delivery. And I know you have a team of, of uh, uh, you know, people also making sure that delivery na is as, as successful as you want it to be. Who are these people that you'd like to acknowledge? Go ahead, uh, Sir Anthony, go ahead. Yeah. The whole staff, uh, the whole staff of Filipino homes and the whole agents, brokers, Thank you very much for promoting Deliver Na. And remember, the more we help, the more the country will move on. So let's, uh, let's go back next week. Philippines! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Bonga Bellia, the founder of Cebu Barter Community and Anthony Lutero, the founder of Delivery Na. Of course, thank you so much for watching live. My search for the best way to live. It's brought to you by our good friends from Organic Asai. Stay healthy, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you very Jiggy. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, Bong. Thank